For Premium Media in Johannesburg, I'm Halima Frost. Today I'm speaking with National Cleaner Production Center of South Africa, or NCPCSA, Project Manager Andre Page, about its recently completed clothing, textile, footwear, and leather waste disposal pilot project. Andre, could you give me a brief overview of the project and its purpose? There's always been this discussion that I'm uh, uh, moving from a linear economy to a to 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 a more sort of circular economy, and and I think this prompted the the DTIC and especially um, uh, included SARS as well and DFFE in terms of of looking at uh, uh, reducing uh, negative impacts, but also looking at uh, from a DTIC perspective, looking at creating more jobs, um, looking at the more value uh, sort of a value chain uh, type of approach. And 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 during 2019, they uh, this was sort of com- conceptualized. Um, if I think back at, at it's taken many years, but it was conceptualized in 2019, um, and then COVID hit, and everything went quiet, um, as as you know. And then um, the idea was to to focus on the CTFL sector because of the amount of waste that generated, and also because um, if if you if you if you look back to the to the sector itself, um, since the early 2000s, there's been a lot of uh, companies that's closed down. Uh, jobs had been sort of lost over the years, and and that prompted the the, the interagency working group, which was formed, which consists of SARS and as well as the DTIC, to to look at uh, putting a project like this in place to look at especially waste generation. And when I say waste generation, it's about diverting landfill uh, textile waste from landfill, um, and then also uh, oh CTFL of goods. Um, it's uh, textiles is quite broad, um, but looking at diversion from landfill and also seeing how you can reuse, recycle, um, sort of, uh, and and then in some sort of way, also looking at um, converting it into uh, suitable products. The project um, volumes were like 1,500 tons of clothing, textile, footwear, and leather goods. The service provider exceeded these volumes. We actually, we, we, we extended the project with, a, with another six months at no cost and he the the volumes that he um, destroyed was 1810 tons and we had destruction certificates as well also in place for each consignment that was destroyed and we we diverted about 76 percent which includes um packaging as well boxes as well that was project manager andre page from ncpcsa's ctfl waste disposal pilot project